Hey everyone, it's me, the Otaku Fanger, here to review episode 7 of Hatsukoi Monster, or First Love Monster. Wow. <laughs> Most of that episode was dedicated to uh, finding Kaze's uh, love interest, or uh, love interest, I use that word loosely, um, <laughs> and Kandade and his friends formed a little detective squad, and they... <laughs> It all ended up where they're like, oh, it's Toilet Hanako! Uh, cause there's this Japanese ghost story about, like, a girl who lives in a toilet, and, yeah, it was weird. Um, and I'm like, there's, what the heck? <laughs> Guys, y'all need to stop, like, this episode, though. But in the beginning, we were back where we were, uh, last episode with the, um, the... Oh, yeah, they were gonna break up and stuff, and, um, well, she was like, no, I don't wanna break up, and he's like, okay, we'll play rock, paper, scissors, and she ended up winning all three times, and then Kota showed up, I think his name is Kota, um, I think, I might be wrong, but it's the green-haired dude with the, with his eyes being covered by his hair, and I, I think his name is Kota, but I'm not sure, um, but anyway, he showed up, and he was like, no, you get one more last chance, and that's when they did the whole rock, paper, scissors thing, and then she won, and then kind of day was like, um, well, bye, and, you know, this is, it must be fate and stuff, and he was like, poof, and then, and he, like, ran away, and I just thought it was funny, but, um, man, though, I feel bad for the, um, the guy with the hair over his eyes, because, um, he, you know, like, he likes Kaho, and he was even willing to say, you know, you give one last chance and everything, and he didn't want to see the person he loves sad and everything. I was like, aw, you sweet, you so sweet. <laughs> and so, the rest of the majority of the episode was spent, again, like I said, uh, Kanade and his two friends, Gein and Tom, uh, <laughs> going around trying to figure out who Kaza's, uh, love interest is. And, um, <laughs> Taga Atsushi, he's still as savage as ever. He was even savage to, uh, he was even rude to, um, the guy with the hair over his eyes. He called him trash, and I'm like, oh my gosh, you're so mean. But, um, <laughs> gosh, it's funny, kind of, though. Um, also, Kaz's butler, he's weird. Um, he, like, jumped out of a helicopter, and also, he likes to be called, like, weird words, and it, yeah, that happened. Um, <laughs> I was like, okay. I was expecting more of a Sebastian type thing with this butler dude, but never mind. He's just really weird. Um, but, <laughs> oh man, it's just funny. But uh, at the end of the episode, you know, uh, oh, also during all of this, uh, Kaho was stalking them, and she would have like, like her character would be like all black, and you just see her eyes at some point. I'm like, Gosh, it was creepy. Uh, and she kept getting caught by the police uh, for stalking middle school. I'm not middle school. Uh, fifth graders. They're not in middle school. That'd make this a lot less weird. Um, but man, <laughs> it was so funny. I was like, oh my gosh. She's actually getting caught by the police. Oh man. But it was a funny episode all in all. I enjoyed it. And what do you guys think of this episode? Uh, what do you, what do you, do you think Kaho and Kanade are gonna get back together? I hope they do. Well, I mean, I shouldn't say that, but it's weird. Cause, I mean, he's a fifth grader. Um, I mean, I really don't want them to get back together. Cause, I don't know. Do I? What do I want from this series? Do I want them to be together? Do I not? I don't know. Confusion! <laughs> this series leaves you confused on what you want and what you don't want, considering ships and stuff. But anyway, what do you guys think of the episode? And I'll see you guys in my review for a Rewrite and B Project later today. See you then. Bye!